What's up, guys, and welcome to Supermarket Simulator. I've got a classic case of the Mondays today, so I figured what better thing to do than try out a new, presumably pretty chill game. So let's jump in. We'll see what this is all about. You'll start with a small store and grow to an awesome supermarket. Start by purchasing goods to sell and place them onto the shelves. Don't forget to set prices uh, with a profit to avoid bankruptcy. Awesome. Sounds sounds like a plan. Well, we've immediately got to decrease the mouse sensitivity. My God. Okay, that seems a little bit better. Oh, and there's traffic too. Got a truck driving by, some people walking around the neighborhood. Got a hotel over here. Ooh, sports car. That's pretty sick. Kind of looks like a Pagani Zonda. A little bit. What is this? Storage? Okay, well, we're not we're not quite ready for that, I don't think. Let's start by just uh, buying a few things. So we've got a market here, management, and bank. Let's hit the market first. We get to immediately just try to fill our shelves with whatever the heck we want. We've got olive oil, pasta, uh, powdered sugar. It's sugar powder, uh, flour, sliced bread, and cereal. So if I were to buy just one of these, that would be 12, correct? Okay, that seems right. I guess I'm just going to buy a box of everything to get us... Well, we, we can't. We, we actually don't have that kind of money just yet. We're going to start with cereal, sliced bread, and that's it. We're going to be left with about 24 cents, which isn't ideal. We've got we've to gotta flip this new product uh, really, really quickly. I want to just like that. It's already dropped off. Okay, so here's our bread. Get that opened up. Then how do we actually put it into the shelf? Oh, we just place it one by one. Okay, nice and easy. We should be able to fill this entire shelf then. Or is that it? Yep, she's empty. What do we do with our cardboard boxes? Got a trash over here. So G is drop, R is throw, C is close, and then we can interact with left click. I'll, I'll, try, to, I'll try to pick it up. Usually I'm, I'm pretty slow with this this type of thing. We can also throw. Let's get her opened up. And there's our Chaka pick. Got a little teddy bear on it. Sounds good. All right, let's throw this box out as well. And we are ready for business. No, we're not. We have to set the prices. So we bought it for 99 cents a pop. Market price is 396. Why don't we just go with 396 then? That's $396, whoops. So we'd be making $2.97 uh, per loaf of bread sold. But what about the cereal over here? Five ninety-eight. Gotta remember the decimal, otherwise we're gonna be trying to sell this for uh, just shy of 600 bucks. So 299 would be our profit per box of cereal. Oh, and we're closed. All right, let's switch that around. We are open. Any minute now, the customers are going to be lining up. Let's see what this lady's going to buy. Oh, do we actually get to scan stuff too? That might be kind of fun. Let's see what we have to do here. Oh, we just click on everything. That's easy. Nice and easy. Oh, no. Oh, how, how much cash did she give me? Oh, $10. Okay, so six cents is her change. Sorry, ma'am. I'm new with this. And then how do we actually give it to her? Oh, space bar. Okay. Hey, have a good one, ma'am. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to come grab your uh, your cereal and your bread. Oh, this guy's got a card. Thank you, sir. Got our total right down here on the corner of the display. Five ninety-eight. There we are. No math required. I love it. This lady, same deal as the last. Got a credit card this time, so nine ninety-four. Nine nine four. Dunzo. How we doing today, sir? You having a good day? Okay, some Skrilla. We yeah, we can do we can do the math on that. He gave us a 20, so we need a 10 and six cents. Finish. Next. Cash again. Okay, out of a 20, so that's gonna be 14. We're gonna do 10. Four ones and two pennies. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good one. Dude, business is booming. These people know what they need. And they know where to get it. Nine ninety four. There we are. Enjoy your day. Got another customer, dude. So we need to perform 
25 checkouts is our that's our current objective but we're we've already made our money back dude we're sitting at 51 dollars and 96 cents now i want to see people buy like multiple of the cereal and the and the loaves of bread she give us a she give us a card oh she gave us exact change thanks ma'am really appreciate that save saving my dome on this on this monday morning dude i i need that need that pretty badly all right just a loaf of bread and exact change perfect thank you so much it's nice that we don't have to count the cash that they're giving us too it's gonna be 9.94 again have a good one brother thanks for stopping in i need to dude i need a drink already i guess now the business has kind of slowed down a little bit and we've got some more money uh let's let's try to buy maybe something else how about some pasta? No, let's let's go olive oil. It's gonna leave us with fifty-five dollars remaining. Perfect. We'll we'll get her coming. Got this dude over here. What's going on, brother man? Just the two things for you today. Sounds good. Got any big plans for the week? Nope. Okay. That's. See you later. And cash. Exact change. We love it. Thank you, sir. And four dollars is your change. One, two, three, and four, and two pennies. Thank you so much. Oh, let's get our our new shipment. How's it going, sir? Good to see you. Help yourself to, to whatever you need. I'm going to put this on a new shelf. Sorry, sir. Let me move out of your way real quick. And I will be right with you. Let me just throw this cardboard box out and actually get this stuff ready for sale. $4.50. We could really hike up these prices, too, I'm sure. Profit's going to be $3 per bottle of olive oil. Got some chocolate uh, cereal. Exact change again. Thank you, sir. I like the suits. I'm getting some real men in black vibes here. He also came in just for one thing of olive oil, which is very sus. But there you are, my man. Enjoy it. Whatever you're going to do with that. Let's get a couple more things coming. We're going to need more cereal. We're going to need more sliced bread. And let's add flour now. That's going to be $54. We'll have $40 remaining. I do really like the instant delivery. That's, that's kind of handy. Okay, flour is done just like that. Let me help this guy quick, and then we'll get the rest of that stuff. Got some bread, some olive oil on card today. $8.46. 46 gotcha hey have a good one got another guy coming in let's get the rest of this stocked up if we can this is our bread try to get that put on the shelf where it was already being sold maybe the price will will save that way there we go looks like that box is empty sorry ma'am i didn't mean to sprint right through you with a box that's my bad just a loaf of bread for you today brother and four cents you got it We've got our first flower sale here. Out of 50. Out of... It's $6. You gave me $50 for... $6. You know what else I just realized? Well, time's ticking down on us. I just realized that. We forgot to price the flower, which is not ideal. But let me give this lady her change. There's 40. We need 3 and 90. Two. Gotcha. All right. Uh, it's very dark in here, guys. Do we have... We don't have any lights. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, Really quick, I need to... I need to... I need to price this. It's 371. Should be 371. There we are. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. It's all, Things are already getting away from me. What do we got? Exact change. Thank you so much, sir. Saving my dome today. And 50 cents. That's... Well, I guess you're getting two quarters. Sorry. 20 cents. 21, I'm sorry. Why would he give me a $100 bill? All right, man. Uh, you're not really making this easy on, on me. Why? Why do they keep doing this? I don't understand. 91, uh, 50... 79 okay so then for those go on get we need just one more checkout dude but look we're already like running out of stuff we got 108 dollars now 
whoops, I was accidentally typing up there. Okay, so we need, or wait, did I get the rest of the stuff put away? We've got more cereal. Got more cereal right here. Oh, and the clock has stopped now. So we must close at 9 p.m. That's my guess. We're good on bread, we're good on cereal. We need more olive oil. Let's add pasta, powdered sugar, and then maybe a little bit more flour now. That's actually been selling pretty dang well. Close after 9 p.m. Bummer. Okay, well, we're going to have to order that up in the morning. Let's get the light shut off. Get our sign moved to close. Where do we sleep? Oh, press enter to finish the day. Okay, we just, we just sleep right here. Right on the ground. Works for me. Got some statistics here. Store points 131. I wonder what we're going to be able to use the store points for. You'll receive daily bills starting today. Make sure to pay the bills using your computer before their due date or they'll be paid automatically. The more electrical devices, the more expensive the bills. All right. Well, let's get our lights on. <laughs> start, uh, start racking that bill up and then let's go ahead and make that purchase. Let's check out the management app now. See what we have in here. Required store level three for product license. Oh, that's how we get more products added to the shop. I've got you. So that's licenses. Bills will be here. Growth, section two. So we get to expand the supermarket later on. We can also hire a cashier. I'm not against that. I'm definitely not against that. Storage is currently locked. Customization says coming soon. Bank accounts, payments are right here, okay. So maybe we can take out a loan. It looked like there were like some installments or something. Oh, dude, I forgot to open the dang store. My bad. Let's get this stuff shelved really quick. Oh, we can actually stack more per shelf. Can we pick stuff back up? Yeah, there we go. Let's get that added down there. And we'll put sugar on top of flour. Try to keep some stuff together. Looks like we can fit eight per shelf with this one. Got to make sure that we get it, um, get, get the price set though. So 115 is what we're buying it for. We can sell it comfortably at 483. Got it. All right, it's about $3 profit, not too shabby. Dang, this lady just stocking up. Okay, so they will buy multiple products. That's good to know. This is gonna be 1988. Well, this is a good year. <laughs> that was a good year, I remember it well. Got some cash, uh, $2.58. Gotcha. Cash again. This one's going to be out of 40, so they need 18. It's 15, 16, 17, 18, and 38. 35, 36, 37, 38. Thank you so much, ma'am. Enjoy your day. All right. Just the uh, just the cereal today, huh? A fifth out of $50. Out of 50 whole dollars, dude. These people are wild. There you are. I'm half tempted to set the prices uh, to better better numbers so math is easier for me. But it's okay. We're, we're hanging in there, right? We're hanging in there. One, two, three. 21. Gotcha. Kind of forgot I had all this other stuff out there. We got some pasta. Put that up on this shelf. See how much we can stack here. We've got some olive oil. Get that thrown away. Let me set the price on this, gentlemen, and I will be right with you. $3.12. Olive oil already set. All right, we're chilling. We are chilling. What's going on, brother man? Got some cash today. Out of six, you need two pennies. Thanks so much. Bread, a thing of flour on card. It's going to be eleven sixty-three today, sir. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Some sugar and some pasta? What you making? What you what you whipping up with this, brother? Some sugar pasta? Just some sugar today. On card, that's gonna be 483. 598 for you today, brother. Oh, store level now three. Hang on, we can do something with that, right? Let's exit out of this. Back to management. It was product license for more stuff. I'm not against that. Oh, required store level for our first cashier is level 10. That seems so far away. 
we can't do anything with growth until four. I wanted to do growth before getting more products. Well, we can't even purchase that because it's 200 dang dollars, but that's also our next objective to purchase that thing. So we're, we're going to want to do it, basically. There we are, ma'am. How we doing? Some olive oil, two loaves of bread on a card, 1692. My guy, you came in for one olive oil and you gave me a hundred dollar bill. All right. We can do this. We can do this. Easy. No problem. Thank you for paying with card. I really, really appreciate that. $3.12. Next. What do we got here? $18.66. So he needs a dollar and thirty-four. We got two hundred dollars now. We got two twenty-one. We have a decent amount of stuff still in stock. Let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just get it over with, dude. Because next time we restock, we'll be able to buy even more things. We might even need some more shelves uh, before we can really do that. Cash today. That's going to be two cents. Two cents is your change. And we just... Oh, dude is grabbing all the bread. All of it. Okay, what do we got here? Exact change. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Love you. Love you, buddy. It's going to be two loaves of bread and two cereals. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I did kind of watch you uh, pick that out, so hopefully that's not super weird. Um, 1988. Again, great year. Such a good year. All right, we've only got one more hour of the store being open today. We're going to have to... Wow, we don't really have enough money. Okay, it's 9 p.m., but there are still people in here somehow. Maybe it's because I have the sign open still? Not really sure. Exact change. Thanks, sir. Sorry to hold you up. And we've got $4 for change. 26. Gotcha. All right, perfect. Yeah, we don't we don't really have that much left. So maybe we just get our order ready for tomorrow. I'm just going to be buying all the stuff that we have already, but this is what we have that's new. Bottled water, cheese, uh, dark roast coffee, eight pack of eggs, milk, and black tea. So we're moving up. We just, unfortunately can't quite purchase that yet it's the end of day two we satisfied 24 customers that's not too shabby we made 254 dollars and we spent about 250 dollars so total profit four dollars for the day let's start the the next day t palace see computer for more details what's that about let me just buy what we had in our cart but there's definitely a green arrow here does that just mean that the price is going up. We could also just kind of drop our boxes over here and sort of restock stuff as we start to sell out of it. It's maybe not the worst idea. $4.50 for you today, ma'am. Have a good one. Appreciate the business. Yeah, let's, let's continue stocking some of these shelves, though. So pasta is going to go down here on the bottom. That's as many as we can get in there. So again, we're going to drop our box right over here. Help this guy out with his single bag of flour. 371 for you today, brother. Gotcha. Some pasta. Loaf of bread. $10.20. Exact change. Thank you so much, sir. You have a fantastic rest of your day. We're already uh, going to have to restock our pasta. Let's get rid of this. Dude, this is, it's so fast paced, which I, I do honestly enjoy. I like that quite a bit. Okay, this one's full. We'll get that put over here. Hang on, ma'am. I'll be right with you. Give me just a second here, okay? Got to make sure our flowers stocked up. Is this empty now? Yeah, there's only, there's only eight in that box. Okay. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry to keep you waiting here. Got card. Thank you. $10.74. Have a good one. Just some flour for you. $3.71. Enjoy it. We have absolutely no more bread on the shelves. So let's let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Got another empty box and cereal. We are fresh out of the cereal. There we are. You can actually cram a lot more per shelf than I originally thought. Starting to run low on sugar. And then olive oil. Yeah, let's just get that restocked. 
that box thrown away. Okay. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting, T Swift. Uh, you don't really look like T Swift. Never mind. Got exact change. Thank you. And we've got some more stuff. Exact change again. Thank you so much. And this guy is definitely going to pay with card. He looks like a businessman. There we are. How's it going today, sir? Just the two things for you. Got card again. $8.21. And another guy walks in. And another customer walks in. Dude, it's crazy. Business is booming. Stuff is flying off the shelves. It's real, real good. Oh. I was like, wait. What's going on? I haven't had to give people change in a while now. Kind of came as a surprise. There's 75... 85, 86, 7, and 8. Thanks, ma'am. Have a good one. So our next objective is to buy another... What was it called? License? Business license? But that requires a store level of 6, which we just hit 4. So we're not going to be able to do that just yet. Thank you for the card, sir. 396 for you. Ma'am, how we doing? Sugar? To be honest... I couldn't have picked a worse game to try to play on a Monday, dude. I mean, they got me doing they got me doing math, counting change and stuff. It's insane. 75 for you today, ma'am. Have a good one. This lady's going to try to clean out our entire bread shelf and possibly the olive oil as well. On a card, 1242. All right, go on, get. Scram. Get out of here. Only got three hours left in the day. Eighty-seven dollars. Why? Why do you do this? You're making it so much more difficult than it needs to be. Gotcha. Good lord. Kind of forgot to turn on the lights in here. That's my bad. Sorry to have you search around for stuff in the dark here, sir. Okay, we've got some cash. Exact change. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Okay, let's see if we can maybe squeak in a... Uh, an order again here. We're just going to buy everything that we've been buying. And again, I'm going to hold off on the new stuff. Just for a moment. Oh, we've got somebody else in here. Afternoon, ma'am. Just some sugar. Alright, exact change. Enjoy your day. we got our midnight rush right now. I'm trying to get as many things restocked as I possibly can. I should probably... Help these people out, though. Paying with card today? All right. $9 on the nose. $9 even. And you, sir, are paying with cash. You would. You would be that guy. Unbelievable. And then 50, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Have a good one. Some sugar, some olive oil. Cash again. Out of 100. Thanks for that, man. Appreciate that. Very, very, very much. 50, 75, 85 is too much. Taking money back. Okay, this is the first time that we've had to do that. You can take money back by right-clicking on the bills in the cash register. Wait, I can't take back change, though? No, dude. For real? Oh, there it is. Okay, I just had to go a little bit higher up. So there's 80, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Sorry for the confusion, sir. It's, my, it's Monday. It is Monday. For sure, for sure. Exact change. And that was our last customer for the day. So, let's restock our sugar. That's looking better. Got some more bread out here, too. Let's make sure we take care of that really quick. Perfect. Put our single loaf right on over there. Olive oil is completely stocked. Which leaves the cereal. Come tomorrow morning, I think we'll be okay with the amount of stuff we have in store now. But we should probably start to place an order on some of the stuff that we don't yet have. Like eggs and dark roast coffee. That's already $111. Can we squeeze some milk in there? Okay, that's $123. The black tea? That's not happening yet. Uh, just 48 units of that would cost us $158 way too expensive so we've got that ready for uh tomorrow morning we'll finish out the day see how we did products not found six so when we get a license customers must know oh this place you know is, is supposed to have 
this thing, but obviously people were coming in and, and we didn't have what they were looking for. We made $67 that day. Doing a little bit better. Doing just a little bit better. Let's place this order immediately. And before we even open up for the day, because I think that actually starts the clock, I'm going to go ahead just so it's not as hectic and start to try to place some of this other stuff on the shelves. So we'll put milk up here. It needs to be in a refrigerator. Oh, that is not good. And now it's probably going to spoil because we're just going to leave it in the... Nice, dude. Nice. Eggs, same thing. Yep, coffee on the other hand. Coffee we should be able to just put on a regular old run-of-the-mill shelf. Easy. Let's quickly set the price for that too before I completely forget. Dang, we're getting a uh, smoke and deal on this. Selling it for $10.48. That's $3 of profit. Almost four. And what was this? Potato chips or something? Actually, what was this? What the heck? Oh, it's cheese. Also needs to be in a refrigerator. It's the uh, Parmigiano, Originano, you know, the all that stuff. We should be able to stock just bottled water, right? Apparently not. Apparently not. The customers need it cold. What's a fridge going to run us? $200. $375 if we want a bigger one. Yikes. Okay, well, we've, we've got a goal now. We've got something to work towards. This game so far is oddly satisfying for whatever reason. Must be the must be the capitalism. You can smell the capitalism in the air. All right, 76 for you today, ma'am. 76 cents. Got a pasta lover, pasta enjoyer here. $6.24 for you, brother. We should also look into like increasing our prices. Like what if we just put this one at $4? Instead, we're going to increase our profit. The math might be a little bit easier on my uh, little little pea brain. There's $6 there. $4.50 is actually pretty easy for math. Uh, $3.12. What about $3.25? Huh? That's not too bad. And then $10.48. Let's just do $10.50. Maybe $3.75 on the flower. Sorry, I know a line is forming. Give me give me just a second, okay? And then $5. $5 for sugar. People seem to really need that stuff for something. Who knows what they're cooking up? Exact change. Perfect. It's going to make the math easier for them, too, if they're paying uh, with exact change. So $2.50. Look at how much easier that is, dude. Should have done that from the get-go. Now I've just embarrassed myself with my poor uh, math skills, or counting skills, even. Got another card. That's 14 50 Easy dub, easy dub. How's it going today, sir? Just some cereal for six bones. Thank you so much. We are quickly approaching store level six, which is awesome. And we've got $120. We need about $200 for our first little refrigerator. Hopefully, we'll be able to stock all of this stuff in there. But honestly, I, I don't know for sure. It's going to be $17.50 for you today, man. This dude's change is going to be $6.25. Um, adjusting the prices, too, has also increased our margins. Even though it's not much, uh, it's, it's better than nothing, right? What's going on? You're looking very blue today ma'am six dollars on the nose this dude's got a couple of things card i love it 75 all right have a good one that's 187 oh we're at store level five now i thought we were ap approaching store level six but that's okay we got 200 bucks dude let's do it let's buy our first ever refrigerator again hopefully fingers crossed it's going to be large enough to stock some of that stuff. $3 is your change today, sir. Have a good one. Here she is. Since we don't have anything else over on this wall, I'm just going to put it smack dab in the center. Should be fine. Let's stock our milk first. See how much we can put per shelf. Okay, that's done. And we're going to be selling this for $2.50 per gallon. So we're not going to we're not going to make much on it, but that's okay. Now, eczema, I'm going to put right down here. You can really stack those. Hang on, ma'am. I haven't... Jesus Christ, she just picked up a thing without me even putting price on it. Cheese is going to go here on the bottom. Got another cleaned out box. I am so sorry, guys. You're just standing in here in the dang dark. 
All right, and you need six doll hairs. Okay, orders are getting larger. That's good to see. $41.50 for you. What do we got? Oh, that lady picked up the eggs before I could even uh, price them out. Are we good? That says one ninety nine. That's a that's a bit low. I'm gonna be honest, ma'am. That that does seem a bit low, but sure, I'll t I'll take your word for it. Just this once. What else we got? Cash again, seventy five cents. Easy. Got a businessman. Oh, he's picking up the cheese too, dude. I gotta I gotta price I gotta price stuff out. I just I gotta do it, dude. And I, I don't even think it matters that um, I'm doing it now. I think if they pick it up at a certain price, that's what they're going to pay at the register. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. Even though we changed the price of the cheese, no. He is still going to pay what he picked it up for. Understandable. Understandable. Yeah, I would have to say that the refrigerated stuff went over very, very well. We uh, we sold nearly the entire refrigerator worth of stuff today. Let me get some water up in here, though. We are going to have to price that out. We've still got some more cheese there on the bottom. So we'll just hang on to that box. Give me a sec, ma'am. You're being uh, super patient, and I really, really appreciate that. $3 uh, for a bottle of water. Seems expensive, but we'll see if people are willing to pay that. Got some cash, 50 cents. There you are, ma'am. Enjoy your night. I think that was probably... Oh, she said she couldn't find the tea. Probably the last customer for the day, though. So let's switch our sign to close. And we'll just kind of go over everything. I think we should restock this stuff now. And we'll just kind of work with what we've got in the refrigerator. End of day four. Products not found this time was eight which i'm guessing is probably going to be that black tea it seemed like a couple of people anyways were were kind of wanting that we made 46 dollars though it's not bad we got 226 dollars for now but we're about to place an order so now we only have 84 dollars we're going to leave the store closed again until we get everything that is a very high tower of boxes is it gonna fall over no we're chilling we're good All right, any minute now, the customers are gonna be lining up because we are open. I tried to be a little bit more organization focused for today. We've got everything kind of uh, condensed, consolidated into just one shelf. And then of course the shelves and everything have been moved. Hopefully that'll help things just kind of be a bit more efficient. So customers aren't gonna have to, you know, walk, walk around a whole bunch in here. We'll see. It, uh, it very well could make no difference whatsoever. So far, so good. I am starting to get a bit curious, though. Like, is there anything else that we can do apart from the storage place? None of these other doors actually open. We've got a bunch of car accidents happening over here. Candy Smoke Shop Corp. Cool. We are officially back up to two hundred dollars now, two twenty-seven to be exact. But I'm starting to get a little curious. Like, is there actually nothing else for us to do in this town apart from the storage? I mean, it looks like this whole place is just one big loop. Like we're inside uh, the center of town square or something. Tons of people walking around, but I'm not seeing anywhere else that we can go inside of, or anyone else that we can like interact with or anything like that. So. This must be just sort of all that there is, which is fine. $4.25. Thanks a bunch. And you are going to be paying with card. Mad respect, brother. Mad respect. What else do we have to restock here? Some eczema. Get a couple more eczemas in there. 25, 6, 7, 8. And 25 cents is your change, ma'am. I'm curious, how much how much could we charge extra on top of like the market price of stuff before people are just not gonna be willing to pay it? 
You know what I'm trying to say? Like, if eggs were $10 a pop, would this lady still want two of them? Would she even buy them at all? Okay, we've got $67. 7 and 50 cents. There you are, ma'am. And that was probably our last... Couldn't find cheese. We're out of cheese. Okay, cheese is hot. Um, eggs, not so hot. Bread, very hot. Sugar and, and flour and stuff like that, also very hot. So let's formulate our next uh, purchase for tomorrow. Could we finally get the black tea? $300. It is expensive. I know it's expensive, but I think it'll kind of pay for itself. Hopefully. Let's kill the lights and we will finish out the day. See how we did for day five. Products found expensive. One. But they don't say which product was found to be expensive. So that means I'm going to have to kind of... Oh, and market prices have changed for the following products. What? So we actually have to adjust our prices fairly frequently, I would say. Okay, after we change this one from $3 to 275, now everything has been adjusted according to the current market prices for for all the stuff. So let's go ahead and open her up for the day. We'll get the lights on. Make sure people don't have to search around the store in the in the dark, but we're like fully stocked up. We've got a little bit of extra stuff over here that we can kind of restock throughout the day. But we're looking good here. And still a hundred bucks in the back pocket. That's not too bad. That was a big one. That was a really, really big one. 775. Perfect. Dude, seeing all this food is starting to make me so hungry, too. I'm actually starving right now. Even like a loaf of bread. Dude, that sounds great. That sounds fantastic. 75 cents. And two things of cheese for you. That's expensive. That's that's seven dollars we're talking about right there. Only the best. The highest prices for the Oh, we're out of cheese now. We could do like a midday order, maybe. Uh, we are running low on eggs. We're also running very low on cheese. Again, cheese is cheese is hot. Cheese is very hot right now. Dark roast coffee is also kind of hot. That'll be good for now. Still leaves us with $282 in the back pocket. This dude just wants one bottle of water. Okay, here's your change, brother. $7.25 for you. This lady's going to have a bunch of stuff. Oh my good lord. So the, the orders are getting a lot larger now. Is that what you would call this? Somebody's somebody's order? I guess, right? I don't know. You know this kind of reminds me a little bit of Gas Station Simulator, except we don't have the NPCs coming in being like, you're a lifesaver. Anytime we just sell them a carton of eggs, you know? This dude's got a pretty decent size... Order again. Paying with card. Thirty-three seventy-five, And he is probably our last customer for the day, leaving us with $585 in the back pocket and a lot, I mean a lot, of empty shelves. So I think what I want to try to do going forward is, like, for the, the bread, for example, we have two shelves dedicated for bread. I want to start doing that with everything that we stock because we do run out of stuff pretty, pretty quickly. But having said that, I do think that's where we're going to wind things down at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.